Hey guys, thanks for coming back and checking out my newest video. Sorry it's taken so long. This is an updated uh, video of my horror collection. So I know I've been promising you guys <laughs> in the comments uh, to do an updated version. So here it is. Uh, we'll start out with my horror Blu-ray DVD collection, what have you. Uh, ignore this part down. Um, that's non-horror. Uh, I've been becoming a really big um, collector of... Uh, Shout Factory or Scream Factory Blu-rays. So I've got quite a bit of those. And uh, as you can see my uh, Stephen King's The Stand graphic novels up there at the top. If you're a fan of Stephen King and The Stand in particular, I highly recommend these these graphic novels. You can get the... I got these when they were first released. So they're the individual hardcover uh, releases. You can purchase the om, uh, Omnibus or uh, Omnibus, whatever, how you pronounce it. Uh, online somewhere where it has the whole collection and stuff like that uh, these were about 25 bucks a piece when I first purchased them but the omnibus comes the collection comes I think fairly cheap now I want to say maybe like 40 bucks but I've also become a big fan of NECA and as you can see I have a couple of NECAs I got some Funkos let me talk about the NECA Pennywise since I'm, I got it here in the frame really quick. Um, these are beautiful sculpts of these characters. These figures are amazing. The only downside to these figures, if you haven't purchased them already, they don't stand up on their own for crap. Um, and the balloons, as you can see, this uh, balloon right here is leaning onto this shelf right there because it will not stay up the little stick or you know whatever is it's just not sturdy and this one up here i had to tie all together so they would stand and they're still leaning on this book in the back they just don't stand up they're, they're just poorly made it was a good idea and they look they look phenomenal but if you can kind of get them like you know macgyver it a little bit like i did um they're pretty good so um i've also i've been <laughs> i'm not a I'm not a big collector, as you can see, my horror collection is very limited right now, just because everything's so, it, everything streams now. So I'd rather clear up space if I, if I can stream it online, you know, or on Amazon or Hulu, whatever. My friend would, <laughs> my friend would kick my butt for saying this, but um, I don't really, I, if I have it on streaming, I don't really need the physical copy. He's very old school, so, but I have, he has been getting me back into collecting VHS tapes just because it's something I grew up with. So I got some trimmers right here. I have some Batmans down here. Um, I need to get a lot more though, honestly. They're just kind of expensive, the, the really good horror ones like the Friday the 13th or the Nightmare on Elm Street. I actually just recently bought the Nightmare on Elm Street collection of VHS tapes and it's actually arriving today. I just haven't got it yet. I was hoping to get it before I did this video, but it says it keeps postponing it like uh, four o'clock, five o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever. So there's my Blu-ray collection, um, my little uh, Stephen King collection up here. Uh, I got some uh, uh, Full Moon movies. Yeah, this is like the Puppet Master movies. I got some vampire flicks. I got some zombie flicks animals attack movies stuff like that um but yeah if you haven't bought any of these shout factory releases like 13 ghosts or trick or treat it they always come with this beautiful like new artwork and you can always uh flip it on the inside the inside cover it has the original artwork or you can that's what i usually do i usually keep the uh, i usually throw these away the uh slip covers but since it has the new artwork what i like to do is keep the slip cover on these and have the slip cover with the new artwork and have the actual case with the old artwork it's pretty cool and they usually come with like really great bonus features and whatnot so let's jump over here don't want you to see my messy place okay so i used to have if you've seen my older videos i used to have a bunch of posters I don't really have a whole lot of posters anymore because I've been getting into figures. So I'll get to that in a minute. So the posters I do have left, I, I, I had the original Halloween, sorry about the uh, 
the reflection. That's actually probably worse. So the original Halloween, I have, uh, I, cause I, I, I uh, volunteered, sorry, I volunteered at the Halloween 35th anniversary uh, convention as well as the 40th anniversary convention. And I, it was such a great experience. Uh, I had to, I had to do the 40th because I just, I couldn't pass it up. I had such a good time at the 35th and I kept in touch with, you know, some of the guys that run it and stuff like that. So, um, I was able to volunteer again and I got some more autographs and man, it is, like I said, I can't, I can't really put into words how great that experience was. Uh, met some really cool people. There was one, uh, <laughs> there was one experience or one, uh, one thing I did. Okay. At, at the 40th, I met John, John Michael Graham, who played, uh, Bob in the original Halloween. He had the actual screen used, uh, glasses on his table and he actually let me try them on. And if I had the software to do this, I could or edit or I could, I'm using this to my phone. So I can't really throw the picture in there. Um, but I, I put them on, oh my God, just to wear those, the original screen used glasses that Bob wore, those big, you know, seventies glasses, uh, was really cool. Um, let's see. I got about what? Three, four, five, six, about 13 autographs on this thing. I, I gave away, I used to have all the sequels, Halloween two, uh, four, five, six, uh, signed as well. But I, I just decided to part with those. I sold them on eBay and, uh, decided to get some, you know, better things or different things as well. But I had to keep the original one because well, it's the original and I did, uh, keep my V or uh, sorry, my DVD, uh, slip cover signed by Daniel Harris, which is actually the very first autograph I ever got. And she's, I mean, just amazing if you haven't, if you haven't met her. And if you met her, you already know that she's amazing. And um, the remake of Halloween. Now, I got about the same amount of autographs on this one. Some of them are a little bit more tough to see. Like you have uh, D. Wallace right there. Uh, Ken Forey. Scout Compton right there. Leslie Easterbrook, and um, I say one of the best, uh, I say one of the coolest people that I met from this movie was um, Christina Klieb, who played Linda, and I say that because we, my friend and I, we both met her at the same time. We went up to her, and she was really cool, she was really sweet to talk to, really down to earth, and she took a picture with us and then she forgot to put on her. She's like, Oh wait, let me put on my Halloween uh, sweatshirt. So she put on a Halloween sweater and we took the picture again and it was really cool. So she's, you know, she gets, she gets into it, which is cool. And also Tyler Maine. Uh, I cosplay with my son right now. He's, he's four, he's almost five. And he caught, he dresses up as the original Michael Myers, like 1978 little Michael version, Judith and all that and plays it to perfection and it's so much fun as a dad to um uh have that bonding experience so <laughs> uh you go to a convention like that and you get all these oh my god he's so cute with you know he's holding this big ass bloody butcher knife you know and uh let me see if I can do a cut really quick. And if you can't see, there is a little portrait of me and him in costume. Some folks had this little uh, photo booth uh, set up where you could take professional photos and they took one of us, which is cool. So anyway, uh, oh, and uh, yeah, so Tyler Main, he, there was a moment at the 40th convention where we were walking around and he comes out from behind his table and kind of chit chats with uh, my son a little bit and he asks if he can hold him for a photo, you know, which is really cool. So this, he's so tall, you know, Tyler Maine that he, my son just looked like a little baby. And, 
So, okay. He was really cool. So that's one of my favorite people to meet. I met him like several times. So moving on, uh, going into the, you can see some more posters there in the background. I got a house two uh, poster, which is signed by John Ratzenberger. John, sorry, John Rat, Ratzenberg. <laughs> sorry, gotta get that out of my mouth. And um, what's cool is this is also signed by if you can't see it right there, uh, Ari Gross, who played Jesse. I am friends with him on on Facebook, and I mentioned that I needed more signatures on this, and he said, "Hey, you know, why don't you just ship it to me and I'll sign it." Um, this dude is so cool, man. And he, I, I signed my, I, I mean, I sent my poster. I, I sent it off to him. Not only did he send it back signed, but he sent me a freaking, uh, comic house two comic that was, that he had also signed. So such a freaking class act and which was really cool of him. Um, so in the back there, sorry for the glare Halloween two, uh, which was signed by Bria Grant. And Jeff Daniel Phillips, uh, Frighteners, which was signed by D. Wallace and Jeffrey Combs, one of my favorite horror comedies, uh, I, I guess you'd say, of all time. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth. I used to have an old Friday the Thirteenth poster that was signed by Ted White and Ken Kersinger, but I just like this artwork so much better because it was the fi the final chapter artwork and I was using it. The only reason it was signed by Ken was because I was like, I mentioned in a previous video, I was going to use it for uh, just like a generic poster to get everybody from the entire series to sign. Cause it didn't say the final chapter on it, it just said Friday the 13th, but I decided to go with this one just cause I like the artwork a little bit better and it has all black. So uh, the autographs when signed correctly in silver really pop. And you can't see it, but especially with that freaking glare, but you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it right there. That's uh, Tom McLaughlin, which was the director of part six, which is like one of my favorite ones. He signed in black and red for some odd reason, but he's a cool guy. Uh, moving on to my Friday, I mean, excuse me, my Nightmare on Elm Street signed poster, which you can kind of see. Again, sorry about this glare. Otherwise, you won't be able to see anything. Uh, the most recent person that I met from this was Lisa Zane and cause Freddy's dead is one of my favorite ones. It was one of the ones I remember watching f on VHS, one of the earliest ones on VHS I can remember watching when it came out. And, um, I don't know. I just love that one. And I'm friends, I'm friends with, uh, Leslie Dean who played, uh, um, oh my God, I'm blacking out right now. Um, Oh my God, <laughs> Leslie Dean, Leslie Dean, sorry, <laughs> Tracy, Tracy, that's what it is. Um, I'm friends with her on Facebook, so I, I, I really want to get her autograph someday because she's so freaking cool. Um, I went to, me and my friends and my wife, we went to San Francisco one year to meet Robert England, and because I heard at the time that he doesn't do West Coast conventions, which I've seen him at several now since then. But at the time, he, I, I had heard that he never did those. So when I heard that he was going to be there, I had to go. So we all took kind of a little road trip down there, which is like an eight-hour drive from where we are. And uh, well worth it. Stood in his line for like three hours. That's because he takes his time talking to every fan, and not many people do that. Uh, and w while we were in line, my wife and her friend – held our spots and me and my buddy went over there to meet Amanda Wiss who played Tina in the original one. And she was amazing too. Cause she was, it was a Walker stalker con and we talked about walking dead cause she's a big walking dead fan. So got to talking about that and stuff. So it was a really fun experience and nightmare on Elm street, especially after watching the never sleep again documentary has become one of my favorite franchises. I, even above Friday the 13th, I would say Halloween, Scream, Friday, th or Halloween, Scream, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, in that order. <laughs> um, I used to really not be a big fan of Nightmare on Elm Street when I was little, but after watching that documentary and, you know, kind of growing up and meeting the cast and stuff like that, whole new appreciation. So I checked that documentary out if you haven't. And the Friday the 13th, Crystal Lake Memories is also a great one. 
Got some hockey masks up there from part seven and part five, which I've grown to love. I've grown to love part five a lot. Uh, Kane Hodder autograph. Uh, these little decals, um, kind of like those retro uh, Halloween decals that you can they used to buy when you were a kid. And uh, this is from Halloween four. This is from Trick or Treat Studios. And they have tons more, but Halloween 4 is one of my favorites, so I had to get those. And these little retro Halloween masks, I got a, like, Hot Topic for, like, it was, like, after Halloween, so they were selling them for, like, three bucks a piece. So <laughs> I was like, why not? Uh, so moving over to Scream, which I told you is my second favorite franchise. Uh, I met composer Marco Beltrami, which is in the upper left right there. And Henry, whoops, sorry about that. Henry Winkler and Jamie Kennedy. I met Jamie Kennedy twice. So I got him there and I got him on my Scream 2 poster. And same with uh, Marco Beltrami. I got him to sign both. Marco Beltrami was signing this, the vinyl record. Um, at, a, at a small, like, at a small signing in Burbank. And super cool guy, super nice. He was able to sign, uh, my posters and this so uh and then his score is amazing for the screen movies this actually has one and two on it and screen one poster screen three poster which is actually signed by lance henriksen uh one of the coolest dudes i've ever met in my life and uh let's see sorry i know someone in the comments mentioned i say uh a lot apologize the Hitcher, one of my favorite horror films of all time, signed by C. Thomas Howell and Rugger Hauer. Uh, rest in peace. And uh, C. Thomas Howell put, uh, you can't really see it, he said, put, I don't want to die. And Rugger Hauer put, I want you to stop me. Such a great film. And moving over to my Jamie Lloyd replica costume. Made by Kelly Hoover, Kelly Hoover's craft page on Facebook. She actually made this, and she made my son's little Michael co uh, outfit, and he's growing out of that. So I'm gonna have to uh, have her make me a bigger version of it. Uh, but this is just she does outstanding work with this. Uh, so I'm gonna take this off. Moving over to. My scream, this is my Kevin Williamson kind of section right there with my VHS tapes and my Mezco ghost face, my Funkos, and my box set in back. And behind that is Scream 4 because we don't like Scream 4. And my, like I said, my Kevin Williamson section. So I got, you know, the I Know What You Did Last Summer poster, unfortunately not signed by anyone yet, and the VHS tapes with the Blu-rays and this replica hook is actually was made by a guy named Jose Sepulveda Jr. on Facebook. This guy does outstanding work with props, uh, replicas and um, costume replicas and stuff like that is he does amazing where I know for a fact, and this was fairly priced. It was only like 40 bucks at the time. So, and this was fairly recent. I want to say like a few months ago. So I've been looking for, I thought this was a real actually like brand, a style of hook, but I guess not. So that's why I was having trouble finding it like online or something. But this guy makes killer replicas, no pun intended. So I would check him out. Uh, let's see. Fright Night poster sign. Sorry about that. Ah, that's worse. Fright Night poster and Fright Night 2 poster. Uh, Fright Night, okay, let me tell you a little fun little thing about this. I had met William Ragsdale uh, first and, oh no, sorry, Chris Sarandon first, and then I met William Ragsdale, who's super cool. Uh, and the picture that he and I took when I met him actually made its way into the documentary for uh, You're So Cool, Brewster, the Fright Night documentary. And so anyway, the story I was going to tell was when I met Tom Holland, he, he was at a table. He was, he was doing like, he was doing a little signing with, um, uh, the fellow that plays Andy in uh, child's play. 
uh, I forget his name, sorry. And I asked, I told him, he's like, he looked at my poster and he's like, oh, who, who signed this already? I was like, oh, well, Chris and uh, William. And, he, and I was like, I, I really need some more. I would love to meet like Jonathan Stark and, and Stephen Jeffries. He's like, oh, well, Jonathan's here. Like he's walking around. He wasn't signing. He was just walking around like as a fan. And so he's like, let me see if I can. Come. And, and as soon as he said that, here comes Jonathan Stark walking up. And he told, he told Jonathan Stark to, uh, uh, get in the photo with me and with him and me. And of course, Jonathan Stark being the nice guy that he is, you know, had no problem with it. And he signed my, and he, uh, Tom Holland was like, here, sign his poster. He needs your autograph on it. And I felt bad cause I didn't pay him, which I probably should have offered him something. But at the time I was just so starstruck because it was just a genuine, you know, very nice thing for him to do. And Tom Holland. So that was a very fun. I still need a few more autographs on it, but that's one of my that's that is my favorite vampire flick of all time. And then Friday Night Two was amazing as well. Um, and I have Reanimator figure two by NECA. So since I'm a big Halloween fan, this is my replica. Oh no, sorry, he keeps saying replica. This is my mask I got from Chris Morgan. Uh, he's on Facebook, Instagram. He does. The best work. I think anybody can really back me on this. Any collector. He does the best Michael Myers mass work that you can get. And with my uh, Blu-ray collection back there, you can't really tell, but I got a couple uh, DVD uh, covers signed by John Carpenter. There's part two right there, and then there's the original one in the back. You can't really tell. Um, replica this is an h20 knife even though i got the john carpenter original halloween plaque for it um i have the knife for that too but i i wanted to keep this one because this one's a little bit bigger and uh i forget who made this knife i apologize but this is the knife that i cosplay in and my son cosplays with the other one so uh a couple of vhs tapes uh, halloween 2 uh, h2o and moving down to I got some more NECA stuff. Let's see. This is uh, the 18-inch Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And I got the smaller cloth version of Wes Craven's New Nightmare NECA. And this is that Never Sleep Again documentary. A little signed uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre tin little plaque thing, whatever it is. Uh, or a tin insert, I guess you could say. It's signed by Andrew Brignarski, who's my personal favorite leather vase. And the 18-inch Leatherface Gunner Hansen version. And a couple of uh, figures right here. I love Part 3, man. If you haven't seen Part 3, which I don't know if you're a horror fan, you should. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I, I, I still need Part 2. I've never been a fan of Part 2. It's just, I know it has its following. And I just can't for the life of me figure out why. Because to me, it's a piece of shit. So, moving down to what is one of my holy grails, okay, is the replica Myers house. This is my, f oh man, it's one of my favorite things. Um, I will get to my, my uh, holy grail item uh, in part two of this video, but this was made by a guy named Jack Ripley on Facebook. And this guy, this is only half, uh, and this is actually the mask that my son cosplayed in. Uh, this is really cool, and this this is actually only the half uh, house version. And this, he, he sold it to me cheap. He already had it made and everything, so he was just, I think he was just looking to get rid of it. So he sold it for me fairly cheap, which was great. But the detail on this, and this, this video does not do it justice, but... The, just the the strode sign, the leaves, the dirt, the even the broken window, which is kind of maybe like a part like from part two where they throw the the rock through the window. I think that is. I, it, I, it's hard to tell, but anyway, there's a little area in the back of this where you can put like a little tea light, and it lights up, which is actually supposed to be uh, Judith's bedroom. So when the lights are all out, and I'm watching a Halloween flick. I like to turn that on so the, the window lights up and illuminates. It's really cool. This is actually the the scale of this is actually fit supposed to fit one of those reactor uh, reaction reactor figures, 
which is kind of like this um, this big, this scale. It's supposed to fit one of those if you have a Michael Myers one, but I don't have one. But uh, this is so beautiful. So I'm gonna get to my NECA collection, my figure collection in a minute. So I'm gonna stop this video and we'll continue with part two.